Hey, this is Ine. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I want to show you a quick code snippet um, that you can add to your program. So it will only open trades into the direction um, where you have a positive, in which you have a positive swap. So you probably know that if you open trades and you do not close them overnight and you are still you still hold them in the next morning, you will pay swap. This is pretty much just a fee. Um, because this is a leveraged product that we are trading when we are trading CFD and Forex and the broker takes a fee from you for holding this leveraged position overnight. So it's um, dependent on the interest rate and uh, if you for example trade a currency pair like Euro or Dollar it depends on the German or European interest rate um, for the Euro and the interest rate for the US Dollar. And if one of them is higher than the other, you will have a positive or negative swap um, fee if you hold the position overnight. So if you are in your MetaTrader 5 and you are in the market watch, you can just select any um, symbol or any currency or a CFD or whatever. And you can right click and then click on specifications. And here you will also find somewhere the swap. And you can see you always have a swap long and a swap short. This would mean that if we go long euro US dollar, let's say one lot, we would pay 6.01, um, I think it's points or US dollar. Uh, not really sure, but um, I'm sure that you paid something if you hold the position overnight. In the other case that you short euro US dollar, you will gain money. So the broker will give you money for shorting this position uh, or this currency pair and holding the position overnight. So you can, oh yeah, and it says it is in points here. So you can actually make money um, risk-free, if you want to say so, by shorting euro US dollar if there is a positive swap ratio for the for the short swaps. Um, of course, I mean, you have the risk that um, euro US dollar would um, increase or like the, the, the um, exchange... Um, uh, the, the, the symbol would increase in value, like um, the price, then you would lose money, of course, on the trade, but the swap is guaranteed. So let's have a look at the programming part. How can we figure out if the swap for long or short is um, positive or negative? So let me just um, go here in my test program, and you can just create a new expert advisor if you don't have a program. So in this short video, I just want to show you like the few lines of code that you need to figure out if it's better, so to say, to short or uh, to go short or long in your symbol. So to figure out what the uh, swap rates are, you can use symbol info double. This is a system function. It's part of the MQL5 framework. You can reuse it right away in your MQL5 program. And then the first parameter is a symbol. Here we can use euro dollar, for example. And then we have as a second parameter. You have symbol uh, swap long. This will give you the long swap rate. So we can say um, euro dollar long is this uh, the, the return value of this function call. And then we can do the same thing, of course, for short. So we can say um, swap short here. And of course, you can do this for any symbol you like. So I could go ahead and also go for USD Japanese Yen, for example, and uh, USD Japanese Yen short. And then we just have to use USD Japanese Yen here. And if we compile this, and maybe we also want to write a chart comment, so we will see this. Um, USD long is this value, uh, Euro USD long and then maybe uh, two digits. And then we have uh, the short value, which is uh, EURUSD short. And then of course we also have the same two values for USD Japanese Yen. Let me write this in a second line. USD Japanese Yen long and we have USD Japanese Yen short. And yeah, if we compile this and run the program, you will see that we now have the swap rates stored in these variables. 
So let me run the program. It is the test program here for me. And you can see in the upper left corner, as soon as there is a tick in the chart, yeah, you can see Euro US dollar long is minus 6.01. Uh, uh, and if we check this again in the specifications here, you can see this is indeed correct. And the short rate is 3.87. And then for USD Japanese Yen, we can also check this, of course. USD Japanese Yen, it is, um, yeah, I mean, the numbers are correct, of course. So you can now figure out what, in what direction you want to trade. Of course, you don't have to do it like this. You can also say that you want, um, that you do not want a fixed symbol here, but instead you use underscore symbol to get the, uh, the symbol of the chart in which the program is activated. And yeah, in this case, you will always get the, um, whoops, I renamed these, swap long, swap short. In this case, you will get the um, swap rate of the current chart always. So here we now get it for USD Japanese Yen. If I open something else like um, like the German index here, uh, stock market index, if I run it here, we will also see the, the, um, the swap rates as soon as there is a tick in the chart. Yeah, you can see swap long should be minus two point something and uh, swap short should be a little bit positive. So yeah, you can see this is working for every single chart now. And of course, if you want to check the swap before opening a position, you can just use a simple if statement and you can check if swap long is greater than zero. And in this case, open long position. And you can of course check if swap short is greater than zero. And then you want to open short position. Maybe you can combine this with other um, entry signals or entry criteria. Yeah, just want to show you this mechanism that you can use for your own program. And if you're interested to learn MQL5 um, properly, like with a complete course where you learn everything you need to know, all the um, basics like variables, data structures, um, data types, everything you need to know, check out the link in the video description and you will be a MetaTrader 5 programmer in no time and it's absolutely worth it. I have so many people that already took part in this class and um, they're now writing their own program and it's taking the um, trading to another level. So thanks for watching, have a great time, good trades, bye-bye.